I thought I was doing ethnography, but actually at my progression review viva first time around, I was told that actually I was doing participant observation, so I switched it to that. Ontology. Participant observation fit better with the ontology because ethnography is about watching and understanding somebody else's meaning and what I was doing was about the meaning that we experienced between us so participant observation fits better with in an activist ontology and then that makes sense of participatory sense making as the epistemology so it was the I used participant observation informed by ethnography particularly sensory ethnography starting out I actually thought I would be doing ethnography because I'd been so inspired by other work done by researchers with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities people like Scarsona and Viamus and Mia Tola, especially the Mia Tola et al. paper 2017, Voiceless Subjects, and Ben Simmons, Simmons and Watson's work with Ben Simmons' work that he did for his PhD. All of these were ethnographies that really resonated with me and what my experience of spending time with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities has taught me. So I thought I would be doing an ethnography and I was particularly interested in sensory ethnography with the um, encouragement within that to observe across all the sensory systems rather than just looking for actions and what people say and what people do. And you can see the importance of that influence in the field note on page 110 where I'm with Becky by the fence and I'm thinking about the sounds of the little twigs as she drops them and I can feel the warmth of the earth and I notice the, um, the noise of the motorbike passing by without going through all those different senses and without being aware of all those different sensory inputs within my observations I wouldn't have got as much knowledge out of the situation or as much understanding out of the situation so that's the influence of sensory ethnography in my work but participant observation was recommended to me at my first progression review viva and it was a brilliant steer because ethnography is fabulous for finding out about um, a population's um, cultures and interests or an individual's experience and meaning. Um, but my ambitions were always to do work with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities. And there is that distance within ethnography and that ethnographers are not supposed to disrupt what's going on you're supposed to be learning about what's going on and I was actively intending on changing what was going on so that what was going on was us doing research together so ethnography couldn't encompass my ambitions and at that time when I had it recommended to me when I had participant observation recommended to me I was very concerned with what the theoretical foundations to this work would be I was considering all sorts of different ontologies and I think at the time I thought that choosing an ontology was like a choice of faith that I had to pick one and stand by it for the rest of time and it was only when I realised that I needed an ontology to underpin this work that I settled on in activism which is the approach that sees meaning as something that exists between people and between people and things it brings it it um it fits really well with merleau ponty's um philosophy which has so informed everything within this thesis and it has its roots in phenomenology so it's a good fit with the meaning that i in expected to encounter and um, i wasn't thinking that i was going to go and take meaning out of people's heads you know that that the people that I was working with had knowledge that I was going to go and extract I was thinking that we would have experiences together and that the meaning would be within those experiences and phenomenology's idea that meaning exists at the point of experience gave me a way of considering doing research with people who have profound intellectual disabilities and in my wider reading 
I often looked at research done in the field of dementia because especially when people are working with people with later stage dementia, there's a lot of overlap between what they're doing and what I and others like me who work with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities are doing because both populations um, have cognitive impairments and sensory differences and, and are very disabled um, by the constructions around them, by their experience of life. And in reading in the dementia field, I came across Di Jaeger and Di Paolo's work on participatory sense making. And it was one of those hallelujah moments in me, like this, this is it. This is exactly the sort of thing that I was looking for. And what especially resonated with me about participatory sense making was that the betweenness of meaning has its own force to it. So I remember a description in one of their papers of it being of when you walk with somebody, you naturally fall into step with them. And that if you try not to, you have to pull against something because there is something about the syncing up of bodies and people that is active in itself. And so there is this third force. There would be the person that I was working with, there would be me, and then there would be this driving force that we would sync up. And so I was looking at an ontological basis of inactivism founded in phenomenology, an epistemological basis of participatory sense-making. And then participant observation just sat so neatly on top of those foundations that it made sense for me to take it as a method, as my approach. And I was really um, reinforced in that decision by realising that some other papers that have really resonated with me and have been really powerful when I've read them have used participant observation. So, for example, um, Gustav and Abner's Putting Down the Verbal and Cognitive Weaponry paper. It was just fabulous. And also other people using participatory approaches. So um, the Gusai Haven and De Schauer, De Schauer, sorry, I've only ever read their names, um, but the paper Swinging Together, that uses a participatory approach. And so I used participant observation underpinned by phenomenology with an ontological foundation of inactivism and an epistemological approach of participatory sense-making informed by ethnography, especially sensory ethnography, because it resonated so strongly with my past experience of spending time and sharing meaning with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities. And it could also encompass my ambitions to do work collaboratively with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities.